I'd love to show you what I mean and unveil the next generation car, but you're gonna have to trust me on that until a later date, Tesla design boss Franz von Holthausen said about Tesla's new supercar model. A cheap hatchback or mid-sized SUV has always been on the wish list of Tesla lovers in recent times. U.S. electric car giant Tesla has reiterated plans for a smaller mass-produced car than today's Model 3 and Model Y, which will cost half as much to build. Wouldn't you like to know the name and unique features of this car, why it's being produced, and when it will be released? Wonder no further, as we're gonna cover that all in today's episode of Tesla Car World. Welcome back to our channel where we bring you the latest updates on all things Tesla. Thank you for tuning in and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay up to date with all the future video updates. Now let's dive into today's topic. Underpinned by Tesla's Generation 3 platform, Tesla CEO Elon Musk has previously said the new vehicle, which will form a range of models on one architecture, will be smaller than the current Toyota Camry-sized Model 3. Surely you have heard about the Model 2 or Model Q before, but this car has an extremely unique and attractive name, which is the Tesla Model 1.5. Okay, it's not that attractive. So how much will this desirable car cost? This year, the company aims to introduce a vehicle priced from $19,000 US three years from now. That's right, you heard it here first. They're going to introduce a car that's going to be produced three years from now. Huh? Exciting, right? But the company is yet to confirm if it remains on track for this figure with its next generation vehicle. But if this price remains on track, it would make the new car significantly cheaper than today's mid-sized Tesla Model 3 sedan, which is priced from $42,990 US in the United States, or $64,300 plus on-road costs in Australia. It's unclear when the new model will be unveiled, however, executives suggested that it's due in the next couple of years. So what segment does this new model belong to? Tesla executives confirmed its next generation vehicle platform would underpin more than one model, likely pointing to a duo comprising a hatchback or sedan and an SUV if Tesla's current range is a guide. Lars Moravi, Tesla head of vehicle engineering, told investors at the event, our next generation platform is more than one segment. We're thinking about all the segments that are available that we haven't captured and where the market would be in designing it with our supply chain partners so that we can quickly go through those segments for where we need. But if you make a car desirable and affordable, oftentimes it doesn't necessarily matter what segment it's in because it's one that you want. The next generation platform is not one vehicle, but multiple, Mr. Moravi said. Tesla claims the next generation range of cars will cost half as much to build as the Model 3 by rethinking the way it is built to reduce complexity and the number of steps needed. Now, let's go over how the Model 1.5's interior exterior will look like and also the range. It's possible that the interior of the Model 1.5 from Tesla will be even more minimalist than the already simple design of their current lineup. Luxury features like heated rear seats may not be included in this model. Some have speculated that both the Model 1.5 and the Tesla RoboTaxi project are one and the same. If this is true, the interior of the car may not even have have a steering wheel or pedals for that matter. With regards to features, Tesla's Model 1.5 should come equipped with all current hardware for full self-driving with FSD available by subscription to owners. Tesla's FSD software is one of the major factors that the automaker banks on to market their vehicles over the competition, from the Model S down to the lower priced Model 3, so it seems unlikely that the new model would come without FSD capability. Tesla Model 1.5 range is expected to be around 250 to 300 miles estimated based on Tesla's current standards and range of potential competition. At a budget-friendly price, we should assume that Tesla will build the Model 1.5 with all things in moderation. And while Tesla does sporty well with all of their cars, this car's 0 to 60 acceleration will be slower than other models, probably closer to 5 to 7 seconds. It will still have that instant Tesla torque, but less of a thrill ride feel and a bit more jostle as the suspension quality is reduced. What's the concept like, and how is Tesla planning for production? 
Rather than assembling the body of a car first and inserting the interior and batteries further down the production line, Tesla says sections of the vehicle, meaning the sides, front, rear, and interior, will be put together as complete assemblies first before bringing them together to finish the vehicle. Tesla says its next generation car will debut a new electric motor with no rare earth metals and will use 100% Tesla designed electrical controllers. The vehicle is slated to be built at a new factory in Mexico as well as other plants around the globe. Plans shown to investors today show Tesla is planning two more models to complement its current lineup, set to expand imminently with the semi-heavy truck and Cybertruck pickup. The presentation slide shown on stage includes what appears to be a smaller, cheaper car, a type of vehicle Tesla expects 700 million examples of to be sold globally once all new vehicles are electric. It's unclear how many examples of Tesla's small car the company aims to sell. However, CEO Elon Musk has previously predicted it would outsell all other Tesla cars combined. An issue that Tesla lovers are equally curious about is the type of battery used on the car. So what battery will it be assembled with? The new vehicle is likely to employ the company's in-house designed 4680 battery technology, which they claimed in 2020 to deliver five times the energy and six times the power of previous battery cells while being 14% cheaper. Whereas in most electric cars, the battery cells are assembled into modules, which are then bundled into a pack mounted to the vehicle's chassis the structural pack design skips the modules instead using the battery in the core structure of the car. And for our last bit of news, when will the Model 1.5 be released? With the Tesla Cybertruck and Semi both still upcoming on the production line, most of Tesla's production should be tied up for the most of 2023. Unless more evidence surfaces that the Model 1.5 is actually in development in Shanghai, we don't see any reason the Model 1.5 will suddenly surface before the end of 2023. If the Model 2 project does make it into production queue for 2024, we would expect to see some pre-order availability in early 2024 or during the fourth quarter of 2023. Are you looking forward to this new model? Such a reasonable price, do you want to own a Tesla Model 1.5? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Otherwise, thank you for watching today's episode of Tesla Car World. We really appreciate your support and viewership, and if you enjoyed the video, please consider showing your appreciation by giving giving it a thumbs up, sharing it with your friends, subscribing to our channel, and turning on notifications so you can stay up to date with the latest news about electric vehicles and green technology. We're excited to have you join us for our next episode. In the meantime, stay safe and stay healthy.